The transponder panel is located on the aisle stand. The transponder system on this airplane is similar to ones on other Boeing airplanes. These controls are for the traffic collision avoidance system and are discussed in one of the crew alerting system lessons. The transponder selector selects a transponder for use. The selected system displays in the code window. Select the right transponder. Notice the display change. During pre-flight, confirm that the altitude source selector is in the normal position. In normal, the ADARU supplies altitude information. Positioning the altitude source selector to alternate selects the SARU for altitude information. The code selectors, mode selector, and ident switch operate the same as on other transponders. During pre-flight, set the mode selector to standby. Just before takeoff, the selector is set to TARA. The selected transponder activates automatically when the airplane is airborne. The weather radar system includes two receiver transmitters and one antenna. Controls for the weather radar are located on the aisle stand and EFAS control panels. Weather returns are displayed on each pilot's ND. The weather radar map switch turns the radar system on and enables the display of radar information on the ND. The selected radar mode and antenna tilt angle are shown here. Range arcs appear since TCAS display information was not previously selected. Radar range corresponds to the selected ND range. The system selector and antenna tilt control function the same as on other radar control panels. The mode selector is used to select the desired radar mode. In this position, only weather returns are displayed. Moving the mode selector to this position displays both weather and turbulence returns. Notice the corresponding change in the radar system indications. The map mode displays ground returns and is discussed later. When the gain control is positioned to auto, the radar receiver is set to maximum sensitivity. Variable gain settings can be selected in all three radar modes. Rotate the gain control to a mid-range setting. This indication appears when the gain control is not in the calibrated auto position. Now return the gain control to the auto position. The returns display in four different colors. The colors of the indications depend on the intensity of the precipitation. Areas of light precipitation are green. Moderate precipitation is shown in amber. Red displays depict the areas of heaviest precipitation. Areas of turbulence within precipitation are shown in magenta at display ranges of 40 miles or less. Precipitation must be present for magenta returns to appear. The radar cannot detect clear air turbulence. Return brightness is controlled by the associated weather radar brightness control for that ND. Radar returns are displayed in expanded or centered map, expanded VOR, or expanded approach modes only. Let's look briefly at ground mapping. Select the map mode. Now adjust the antenna tilt to minus two degrees. When ground mapping, incremental tilting of the antenna during successive sweeps of the beam is required for a comprehensive display of the terrain.
If required, gain should be adjusted for optimum observation of terrain features. After landing, turn off the weather radar system. Verify that weather radar indications are not displayed on either ND. It is possible to test the radar system at any time. Let's go through a typical pre-flight test. First, select Test. Next, verify the selected ND mode is capable of showing weather radar information. Map is the normal pre-flight mode. Now, push the weather radar map switch. A test pattern displays if the test is successful. If a test pattern does not appear, the test failed, and weather fail displays on the ND. An enunciation appearing here indicates the possible cause of the malfunction and is discussed later. Now let's look at some non-normal conditions and indications. The transponder left advisory message displays if the left transponder fails. Select the right transponder. Cancel the message. Radar system fault indications display on the ND and AMBER. Some radar system faults may occur which allow limited system operation. Weather returns may continue to display depending on how severe the malfunction is. These are possible enunciations indicating limited operation. Radar system failures are indicated by the weather fail enunciation. When a failure occurs, weather returns and radar system indications are not displayed. If test is selected, the possible cause of the malfunction may display here. One of these enunciations may accompany the weather fail enunciation. If the radar system range disagrees with the selected ND range, the weather range disagree message appears. If the ND range, radar system range, and FMC map range all disagree, map weather range disagree appears. When range disagree messages occur, radar returns cannot display. ATC reports they are not receiving an altitude readout from your transponder. Configure the panel to correct this problem. There are two transponders on board. An airplane in front of yours reports moderate turbulence, but your ND shows none. Correct the display. Select a turbulence display mode. Perform a test of the weather radar system.